Hello, Darren here. Welcome back to Malaysia. Today, I am coming to you from Kuala Lumpur. Yes, I've been told that I'm saying it wrong. I always say Kuala Lumpur. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to create a new language. We're going to create a, a language called Yorkie Malay. Yeah, it's going to be a mix of Yorkshire, mix of Malay, and you'll all be fluent in it in no time. Yes, I know I can't pronounce words very well. I've always struggled with that. And you all give me a hard time in the comments, but that's fine. I'm used to it. I've got tough skin. We're all good. So this is a new series. Every Thursday and Sunday, I'm going to be ordering a local dish and eating it and sharing it and reviewing it and just chit-chatting. We're not going to be talking about viruses or lockdowns. We're just going to be focusing on what we know best and that is food. <laughs> and as you know, I love the local food, but there are a few rules. The first rule is I cannot order any food at all from a chain or a global brand. It's got to be a local, small, independent food business. That's the first rule. It's so important that we support those independent, small businesses right now. So that's rule number one. Rule number two is I've got to order things that I haven't eaten before or just things on the menu that I'm not too sure what they are. I can't translate them. I can't do a Google image search. I've just got to order them. So it could be quite interesting, but I'm going to cheat in episode one. I'll tell you about that in a second. So yes, it's got to be food that I've not eaten before. If you have any suggestions, please do leave them down in the comments. And of course, the third rule is I can't leave my apartment because I just can't. We're on lockdown, but I'm going to be using Panda or Grab to order the food. And yes, I'm going to be doing this every Thursday and Sunday. The rest of the time I've been eating pot noodles and toast, <laughs> soup, uh, salads, so yeah, I, I'm not eating takeaway food all the time. I am looking after myself. I just want to say that because I know some of you do worry about my health. I'm, I'm healthy and fit. Well, not fit. I'm just healthy. I'm feeling good. So there, let's go and order some food. Don't forget to wear your mask and have hand sanitizer. Always wash your hands and stay at home. Stay at home. I've got my phone browsing through the Grab app and... I've got a confession. On the first episode, I'm going to cheat because I've not had Nasilla Mac for two whole weeks. So I'm going to get Nasilla Mac, but I'm going to choose a Nasilla Mac that I've never had before. And there's one called Nas. Don't laugh. I'm pronouncing this Nasilla Mac. I am Gorang Barumpa. Barumpa. Um, <laughs> Nasi Lamak, I am Goran Barampa. So that's what I'm going to order. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll be back in a second when it's here. So here we have it, the Nasi Lamak, I am Goran Baranapa. Just butchered the name, I know. There's a lot of rice. You can see we've got the banana leaf there. We've got an absolute load of rice. A piece of chicken, not the biggest chicken I've seen, but sometimes smaller is better when it comes to chicken, much more flavour sometimes. And yeah, we've got quite a bit of sambal sauce, not the usual texture of sauce that, that you normally get with sambal sauce, but let's give it the taste test. By the way, let me just remember the name of the place where I ordered this from. This was from, let's have a look, Shri Kalatan Nasi Kukus. I'll leave a link to the place down in the description. Go and check it out. Hopefully it tastes good. We shall see. Let's have some sambal first. Yeah. Weird texture for the sambal. Not overly spicy, but there's definitely a little bit of a kick there. Not seeing any peanuts, which is the first observation. You know, I like my peanuts and my anchovies. Hmm. Got some anchovies there. The sambal sauce. Bit of a cake. Not the spiciest. Let's try some rice without the sauce. 
Just see if we've got that coconut taste. Clean the palette. So this cost me six ringgits, which I think is good value for money. I'll put the British and the American price on the screen. Normally I've paid kind of in the center. This is more outskirts of uh, Kuala Lumpur, but I, I've normally paid between seven and 10 ringgits. And the 10 ringgits mainly is because of obviously the touristy areas that I might go to. So this is, is kind of mid range. You can certainly get it cheaper. You can get it as cheap as two ringgits, but obviously when you get the chicken and the other types of meat, squid, then obviously that becomes a little bit more expensive. So let's just taste this rice and see if we've got the coconut taste. There's a coconut taste there, but a bit weak, not very strong. Oh, got a bit of a kickback then. So yeah, definitely coconut there. Have a bit more. Mixing some of this sample. I'm not seeing, unfortunately, oh, because there's cucumber there. There's no egg. There's no uh, peanuts or anchovies. Or there's a few anchovies, not many. It could be because of this variety of dish. It's not the usual nasi lemak. I'm not too sure what the barampa bit at the end of the dish name is. Obviously the ayam garang is the, the fried chicken. It's certainly not the worst nasi lemak that I've had. <clears throat> and it's certainly not the best. The best is still the roadsides. Where I lived before, literally over the road, there was a, a little food stall there and that opened up in the morning from about, I think about six until about 10. If you went any later than that, it, they were closed. And that was the best. This, out of five, <clears throat> that sambal sauce got my throat then. Uh, <laughs> out of five, I'm going to give this a two and a half because it doesn't have the peanuts. Very few anchovies, probably seen about two or three. The sambal is nice and spicy. The rice is nice. Let's get into the chicken. To be honest, I shouldn't really rate it until I've had the chicken because the chicken could be amazing. You just don't know until you tuck into it. So let's get into this chicken. Oh, it's quite tough. Mm. I think it's going to be a, a finger's job. Yeah, not much in the way of meat on this chicken. Oh, we've got some here. Sorry if you're vegetarian. Um. Chicken is good. The chicken is good. I think I'm going to change my scar. Chicken's got a little bit of spice to it on the skin. And the actual meat itself is really tender. Hmm. Not the biggest piece of chicken that I've ever had. But, what is there? Very good. I'm gonna give this a three. I'm gonna give this a three. I'm really enjoying this chicken. So, yes. Would I order this again from this particular place? Probably not if I'm being completely honest. I reckon you should try it for yourself because as I say with everything, reviews are very subjective. Um, let's have a bit of chicken in there. Mm. 
there are certainly better delivery Nasilamat places. So for that reason, I wouldn't order it from here again. But I have enjoyed it. I am enjoying it. I just wish there was more peanuts and anchovies for that taste. And the egg. No egg. But... I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. So how are you doing on the lockdown? Let's have a chat whilst I'm tucking into this. So. Oh, banana leaf. How are you doing? Let me know in the comments. What are you doing to survive the movement control order, as it's called in, in Malaysia? Two weeks have gone. Another two weeks. I'm coping fine. I'm an introvert. I like my own company. So that's probably a very good thing. People like me will survive much easier than those people that are extroverts that like to be around people. So yeah, I do like my own company, but I'm keeping busy with work. I'm doing lots of free coaching to help people, you know, build businesses or become freelancers or basically work from home. A lot of people are working from home now. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been keeping busy, to be honest. And the first couple of weeks, I was really anxious because of everything going on. And the advice was, you you know, uh, tourists, travellers must go back home. But my situation is very different than most people. I have this apartment that I can, I can stay in and I'm not in a hotel. And I can just keep safe here. It's safe for me staying here in... Kuala Lumpur, Kuala Lumpur, um, <laughs> than is travelling for 15, 17 hours on a plane uh, and then arriving in, in the UK where at the moment the situation is, is much worse than it is in Malaysia. So yeah, I, I feel more safe here, more comfortable here. I've not been ordering this food like this every day. Uh, to be honest, this is the first takeout I've done in two weeks. I've been surviving on those cup noodles and toast and veggies. I've been eating so much veg. I just seem to be addicted to vegetables at the moment. And uh, salad, been keeping healthy, been doing exercises in my apartment. I've been going out maybe every three days to the local convenience store just to pick up some essentials. So I really have kept indoors and I think that's important so that we're not spreading this virus any worse than it already is and that's all I'm going to say on the virus let's mm. but obviously my plans here in Malaysia to travel are, are put on hold at the moment my plan well my plan will depend on a few things obviously how the situation changes hear how things go in the UK and Europe. But I'm thinking at the moment that when it comes to the end of May, when my visa is coming to an end, I'm going to go to the immigration here and extend it by another three months, which I can do on one occasion. So I can definitely do that in the situation that I'm in. And that will hopefully, depending if we're all allowed to go out and go about our normal day, that will allow me to do the travels that I wanted to do in Malaysia. So that's something that I'm thinking about. Also thinking about maybe after that I will go to South Korea and then go back to the UK and hopefully by then everything will have calmed down. We, we shall see. We shall see. See how things develop. That's all you can really do. But this, definitely a free. I would like to have had more chicken, um, but what was there was very tasty. The sambal was nice and spicy. The rice was coconutty, um, a little bit of cucumber, not much in the way of anchovies and peanuts, which is why it probably gets a free. There you go. That's my meal for today. That's my video for today. I'm going to be ordering something completely different in the next episode, which will be out on Sunday. I'm doing these videos every Thursday and Sunday. I will get better at them. Hopefully I'll get a bit more entertaining. 
<laughs> rather than just me sat here eating um, and I'll find some interesting foods that I've not eaten before. Um, so yeah, if you've got any suggestions for dishes, please do let me know down in the comments. That would be really useful to get some inspiration for that. And uh, yeah, I shall be back on Sunday with a new dinner and some new food to try out. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And again, maybe in the next video, I'll answer some of those questions, do a bit of a Q&A whilst I'm eating my food. Let me know what you think. Ask me questions in the comments. Until next time, until Sunday, take care of yourselves and stay indoors. Make sure you stay indoors. Talk to you soon.